Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Mm -hmm. mm. Boy, I'll tell you what. Guys, you know when you have a sleep some nights, you just toss it and turn and rolling this way and rolling that way, and you wake up and you feel like you got to be peeled off the bed with a spatula. That's what it had felt with me this morning. I'll tell you what. Just kind of wiped me out. But you know what? Here I am <laughs> sitting here having my coffee and talking to you, and life is good. I'll tell you, wow. Mm. Guys, something that I never, ever, ever forget to do is truly to count my blessings. There are so many things in life to genuinely be thankful for, no matter what's going on. Think about this. Today, we at least got up and we're breathing the air, you know. You know how... um thing about you know when your birthdays you're getting your birthdays and you're getting older and people are oh well, you need getting older and all this kind of stuff well i'll tell you what when you stop having birthdays now you have something to worry about so don't forget about getting older hey just enjoy the ride it's absolutely amazing i'll tell you boy mm, anyway <laughs> so guys the articles, two of them that I'm reading today out of the hedge. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, we are being nothing but lied to. We are simply being lied to. And what am I talking about? Well, one of the articles that came out today was talking about the jobless claims, you know, and how, oh, well, it looks like they're falling down. And the guy that was uh, making out the article, he was showing how this, it can't, it, it's absolutely baloney, completely ridiculous. Why, hundreds of thousands of jobs have been lost just in the last year alone. And we're watching big time companies closing shops like crazy. And then we just reported yesterday, hey, the Dollar Tree shutting down almost 600 stores and then their subsidiaries, Family Dollar, another 400, so a thousand stores, if you can imagine. <clears throat> and here's one of the cheapest places that you can literally go out and buy any kind of stuff that you want. You know, you need a tube of toothpaste, why pay three three ninety five for it when you can get it for a buck, maybe a buck and a quarter at the Dollar Store. But in any case, these guys are out there and they're fudging the numbers. All these statisticians, come on, you know that they are. And the reason why, and by the way, it was interesting to note, one state was what was really bringing down, was like New York State was bringing down these jobless claims. Well, the fact of the matter is, it's not that there's no jobless out there. It's just the claims themselves have dropped because people are no longer eligible. And yet they want to make it look like, oh, well, the economy's improving. Look, the jobless claims have, you know, you know, just been dropping. What a load of hooey. And the thing is this, too. When it comes to real world inflation, look, if you can't even afford to go to the dollar store, you know, to buy this and that and whatever, and prices are just to tink, to tink, to tink going up. And when they come out with these numbers, do you realize they don't include grocery costs or energy cost in the CPI, they don't, or, or sorry, in the inflation numbers, they don't include those two factors. Well, what hits the average person mostly, right? Grocery, when you're going out there, once a week, putting four, five, six, seven hundred dollars down just to buy the food for the family and stuff like that. And energy costs, what you're paying for your electric bill, what your heat is costing you. Hey, the fuel you put in your car, on and on and on. And I guess the price of gas in California is back up over five bucks in some places it, per gallon. It's just getting truly ridiculous. And for those of us, those of you, sorry, because I'm not on us over there, but if you're over in the UK <clears throat> or in, you know, Europe and stuff like that, you know that you're paying massive amounts. Five, you'd be welcoming a $5 a gallon gas, you know, over in the, in the, in Europe. I'll tell you that right now. And what's really obscene is that these guys that come out and they put this stuff out, remember who it is and who they're working for, they're working for the man, right? And they're coming out and telling you and I that so we can feel better about it. And meanwhile, you got the Fed out there printing what? A hundred, what? No, what is it? Uh, a trillion dollars every hundred days and probably even more than that. That's just the amount that we're able to find out about. And guys, why do you think the markets are taking off like they are? It's because they are out there and they're buying up the debt. And that's why you're watching the yield on the T-bills just drop like that. And what are they doing? Well, they're pushing money into risk on assets, aren't they? Now it's good for us. Hey, in this digital asset space, good for us. When we see that inverse correlation from the DXY, 
when it's coming down and right now it's kind of paused well i think it's going to absolutely crash anyway when that happens in historically we've watched this space take off into the stratosphere and so guys i guess for us it's okay but do you realize the average people 40 percent of americans have less than a thousand dollars saved for any kind of a tragedy or rainy day can you imagine 40 percent that constitutes hundreds of millions of people that's right I mean, you think of the numbers, and then on top of that, do you know how many people the defaults on credit cards have absolutely gone through the Richter scale? They have never been so high as they are now, and yet we've got a booming economy. People have maxed out their cards, maxed out their line of credits, are defaulting on their car payments, are defaulting on their credit cards. Some of them are behind, what, one, two, three months on their mortgage and are facing foreclosure and all this kind of stuff, and yet the economy's improving, don't you know? What a load of poppycock. And the thing is this, the gall, the boldness to just come out and ab do they think that we're seriously not feeling the pain, that people aren't feeling it? Come on. And yet, you know, they have the audacity to, to be so, that shows you just how dis connected they truly are you got all these politicians like elizabeth warren and maxine waters and you know uh, pelosi and all these ones sitting out there and they're on high purchase band do they ever live in some ivory towers i'll tell you what and they're looking down on creation and boy they're telling you oh what you need to think and what you and dumping all over this digital asset space when this space probably represents one of the greatest opportunities for the average folk to go out there and truly see a big time revolutionary change in their lives can you imagine you're out there and you've just been buried buried in debt you've lost your job this and that but you just held on man and you just let your digital assets sit there and then one day bang it just went off to the moon and you were able to pay off all that debt perhaps even pay off your house put your kids you know help your children get down the road a little bit too and stuff like that that's revolutionary and yet they want to take that from you as well i'm telling you that's why we need to get behind folks like deaton john deaton there and really support him what an advocate for this space and he had did it before he ever thought about getting into politics and stuff like that and so you can see the guy is genuinely motivated to really champion the causes of the little man and in this space and how it can help us and that's why i support john deaton and i sure hope you guys can get out there and support him as well you know, not saying that he's perfect. Nobody is perfect. Look, we all have our holes, but boy, we all have cheese too, right? And I'll tell you what, does he have some serious cheese? And I really support it. But guys, it makes me angry when I see these articles because it just shows how discompassionate you know, this group is, you know, and that's why what you had that Richmond north of Redmond, that's why it took off because it resonated with so many people. It really, really did. And the guy was just singing from his heart about what he was feeling and how these people are so detached. They don't even really care. And that's what really hurts you. You know, it really gets me on the inside because I do care. And I'll tell you what, I really, when I say I want to see you in that window circle, I absolutely genuinely mean it i want you to make it i want you to make i want you to have a testimony that other people will sit back and they'll think wow boy i wish that happened to me guys there are people we know already look all the bitcoin stories right wow that guy had enough brains to hold on to it hey i was so biased against it i missed that train boy i'm not missing this one i'll tell you what and how do I ever, ever, ever want to see you on it? I really do, guys. Just stick with it. Go out. Like I say, do your research. Do your due diligence. Look down the road. And what? And, and listen, hey, don't despise the day of small beginnings because even a little bit can make a huge, huge difference. It can really, really make a big difference. I've watched it happen. Look, you just kind of, it's the law of compounded interest as well when you do that and stuff like that. And if think about this. If when the computers were coming out, you just put a small little bit into a little known company called Microsoft, wow, wow, wow. And of course, like with Bitcoin, hey, just that $200 meal, if you had a set it and forgot about it, like Ron Popeil when he used to say, oh, set it and forget it, you know, selling all those little contraptions on TV. Well, if you had done that, can you imagine where you'd be today? Literally, probably a decade, if not a cent of millionaire, just with a little bit. So don't despise those days of small beginnings. Well, guys, tell you what. 
We have an amazing video for planned for you later on today, and I sure hope you're having a good one. Well, you know, today it's kind of like kind of gray out, but it feels so nice. It's, it smells great, and the, the mild, mild air, it's really, really beautiful out here. I, get, I hope wherever you are, you're really enjoying life moment by moment. So guys, until later on, have a fabulous one and take care.